Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well and we have a brand new series for you where we're going to be learning about blade components. So we're going to have little short videos for different subjects about blade. So this will be a short series of the different things about blade components. All right, so the first thing that we're going to learn is how do we create the different types of components. All right, so we can open up our terminal and let's get straight into it. So the first one will be how to make a normal blade component. Okay, so let's quickly do that. So PHP artisan uh, make a component. And we're going to call this one. Now this part right here. So now we got that first part done. So this is basically the syntax you're going to use. The next thing you want to do is you're going to give this the name of your component. Now, in this case, I'm just going to make a button. All right. Now, the thing is, now let's say you don't want it to be just a button. You want it to be inside a folder. So you can obviously just put here folder, the folder's name, like here. There's okay, so a folder, and then you can add the forward slash and your button right there. Okay. So in my case, I don't want to put it in a folder. So if you want to basically put it in there. So let's just remove that folder right there. So we got our button right there. So let's press enter. Okay. There's two things that will be created. It will create a class and it will create a view. So let's quickly go and see that. So if we go into app, you will see we've got a folder called view. And then you will see we got a button right here. So now that is basically our button and inside it's got a constructor and it's got a render right this. Now the render right here is basically the view of this component that it returns. Okay, so that's the first one. So let's quickly go to that. So this is our standard component. So in order to get there, we, the, to see the view, you go to resources, views, components, and you will see we got the button right there. Okay. So that's the first one. That's the standard component that you can create. The second one that we can do is let's say you don't want to actually create a separate view and you want everything to be done inside just the class itself. All right. So we can do that as well. So open up your terminal and let's say we make another one. I'm just going to call this one um, link. Okay. Now, in order to create the second kind of component, which is called an inline component, we add actually a dash dash inline like this. Okay. So what that will do is we'll only create the class instead of the class and the view. So press enter. As you can see, the component is created. So let's go there. All right. So we go to the link. Now, as you can see, the inline component right here, it's basically returning the class but it doesn't have a view. So let's go to the resources, views, components right here. You will see it doesn't have that link right there. Everything is done basically inside the class itself, All right? So basically it returns a div and anything that you want here. So basically we can just type in here, basically uh, anchor tag um, with a hash. And I'm just going to say link like this. All right. So that's the, one part. Now the other part is sometimes you might not even want to create the class as well. So you just want instead of creating a class in order to return a view, you kind of don't want to do that at all. So the third way to do it is you go to resources, views, under components, you can actually create a new file and you can call in this case, let's say a link or form, just a form dot blade dot php right so that's the third way to do it so we've got the standard way the inline way where everything is happening inside the class and the other one is the anonymous component which doesn't have a class but everything uh, you can basically render this component as is all right we're going to get to that shortly right so the next thing that you can do as well for anonymous components you can create the folder inside that component i can just call this one let's say forms now inside that form i can have like a label dot blade dot php right so this is this is how you can create them so you can create anonymous components inline components let's start from the top 
right? A normal blade component, when you create them using this command right there, it will create basically the class and the view. So in this case, we created the button one. So it renders the button. So it's got a class right here with a constructor and a render method. Now the render just returns the view, right? And then we can go to the view right there, as you can see under components in view. The second way is the inline component. So under app, views, uh, link, this one right here is basically the class in the component. Everything is happening inside there. All right. So basically the class returns the blade from the render like this. Okay. So that's it. And the other one is obviously the last one is the anonymous component that actually displays it under resources, views, components that you can create them in a folder or you can just create them in a component itself. All right. So that's it, guys. And the next one what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to render this in your late templates. All right. So that's it. Please give it a like if you like the video. If you have suggestions about the series, please leave it for me in the comment section and I'll see if I can get to that. And yes, if you have any questions regarding blade components, please leave it for me in the comment section. Thank you guys and see you in the next one. Adios.